Hi everybody, welcome to Ace Engineering Academy and Ace Online. Here is a recruitment notification from NIT Durgapur, dear students. So this recruitment notification is for engineering students as well as MCA candidates. Not only that, non-technical jobs are also available. So let us go through this notification, dear students, in detail. So to see this notification, you have to go for nitdgp.ac.in slash p slash careers. So this is the official URL, dear students. And here you can see non-teaching staff recruitment. So if you click here, non-teaching staff recruitment, so here you can observe non-teaching recruitment 2025 advertisement, non-teaching recruitment 2025 online application is there. So you have to fill the online application. So let us see first the online application, then I'll show you the details of this notification. Once you click on the online application, so this page will open. Here you can see syllabus NXR A, syllabus NXR B is there. Advertisement details are also mentioned here. Then you can see click here for new registration. So once you want to log in, so this is the login credentials related page here, dear students. Click here for new registration. If you click there, so here you can see advertisement number is there. Post you are applying for. There are so many posts, dear students. So you can go through these details and you need to check the eligibility for which post you are eligible. Some positions require experience also, dear students. Okay, then you can go for department here. Then name, father's or husband name, email, date of birth and the category to which you belong to, gender is there. So whether you are a PWD or ex-serviceman, that details you have to mention. Mobile number, so permanent employee of NIT Durgapur, by default it is no here. So you need to enter the CAPTCHA and then go for submitting this one. Okay, so once you submit, so you will get a valid registration number. So by using that, you can go for this login and then fill the remaining details dear students and pay the examination or pay the application fee. Okay, so this is the login credentials. Now let us go for the detailed notification here. So recruitment of non-teaching posts. So this is on direct recruitment basis under the pay scale of 7th CPC as indicated against each. So as per 7th pay commission, it will be there and you can see the levels to which this belongs to. So principal scientific, principal technical officer, two posts are there, unreserved category, level 14, and the application fee is 1500 rupees. So superintending engineer, then deputy librarian, senior SAS officer, medical officer, assistant registrar, assistant librarian, scientific technical officer, all posts are there here, dear students. So what is the eligibility criteria? and what is the experience required for these posts that is there in this notification in detail. Then coming to technical assistant junior engineer. This is for engineering candidates, dear students. So here you can see biotechnology, chemical, chemistry, civil engineering, computer science engineering, then computer center, management studies, mathematics, electronics and communication engineering, physics, so earth and environmental studies, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, metallurgical and materials engineering, maintenance section, dean PND. So for all these posts, there are total 25 posts, dear students. Level 6 is the pay that is going to be paid and 1000 rupees is the registration fee for this particular thing. And here, library and information assistant, one post is there, superintendent, five posts are there. So for this also, level 6 pay and 1000 rupees is the registration fee. Then again, for engineering people, another post is also there, senior technician. So biotechnology, civil engineering, computer science, all these again posts are there. 13 posts are totally available here. Level 4 is the pay scale and 1000 rupees is the registration fee. So and senior assistant 7 posts are there. And again technician posts are there. 26 posts are there across various departments. So you can go through these and level 3 is the pay scale and 1000 rupees is the registration fee. So these are all the details dear students and again junior assistant, lab attendant, office attendant, all these posts are available. Okay. Now, so here you can see the link for online application shall remain active from 10 a.m. on 12th November 2025 to till 21 days from the date of publishing in the employment news till 5 p.m. only. So that means from 12th November to 21 days that means around 23rd up to 5 p.m. it will be there dear students 
so here you can see the required educational qualification and relevant experience so across each post principal scientific principal technical officer be btech or msc mca degree in equivalent field with first class or equivalent grade 6.5 in 10 point scale or 60 percent marks and consistent excellent academic record at least 15 years experience as scientific officer technical officer or an equivalent post or above okay so then superintendent engineering also be btech in civil engineering with first class or equivalent grade so with the cgpa ugc seven point scale with good academic record from the recognized university or institute so maximum age limit is given here 56 years dear students you can observe here maximum age limit also pay scale and grade pay related information is there so desirable knowledge if you have cad experience also that is eligible here then coming to the applications for freshers here so let me show you that now here scientific technical officer be btech msc in equivalent field or mca degree with first class or equivalent grade and consistently excellent academic record or employees of the institute serving as technical assistant for at least five years or technical assistant with grade pay of 5400 in pb2 with two years regular service in the institute work experience in re relevant field is desired here dear students so 35 years is the age limit here then technical assistant junior assistant age limit is 30 years first class or equivalent grade in be btech mca in relevant subject from recognized university or institute or first class diploma in engineering in relevant field with excellent academic record first class bachelor's degree in science from recognized university or institute master's degree in science from recognized university or institute with at least 50 percent marks or equivalent grade so for junior engineer so first class be btech in civil electrical engineering from recognized university or institute or first class diploma in civil electrical engineering with excellent academic record so that is what is the given information so library and relevant information is there superintendent for superintendent first class bachelor's degree or equivalent from a recognized university or institute in any discipline so you can go through this information very carefully dear students so not only engineering students there are so many different kinds of posts so you people can apply for these posts so then general instructions and information so essential desirable qualification and age experience so essential qualification desirable age and experience for the above posts are as per recruitment rules 2019 for non-teaching staff in NITs notified wide. So this is the number that was given by the MHRD dear students. So kindly go through this information. So in case first class division or not mentioned in the degree diploma certificate mark sheet, then the candidate should have passed and secured at least 6.5 CGPA on 10 point scale or 60% marks in aggregate. So applicant should possess the prescribed qualification and experience for the respective post as on 12th November 2025 that is what is the information given dear students okay so candidates who wish to apply for more than one post should apply separately for each post in the prescribed manner and separate application with fee must be deposited for each post however the candidates will do so at their own risk as the schedule of examination for any two post codes may coincide that is what he has given here dear students so age relaxation will be there as per government rules so that information is also given no TADA will be paid for attending test or interview or document verification skill test trade test so different kinds of tests might be conducted so written test interview document verification skill test and trade test will be there so depending upon the job requirement they will do this dear students so candidates should ensure that their name father's name date of birth should exactly match as recorded in the matriculation or equivalent certificates so all this information is given in this 13 page recruitment notification dear students kindly go through this information carefully before applying in the application form already i have shown you the application form so here you can see interview skill test trade test written test whichever applicable shall be conducted by nit durgapur and its details will be uploaded on institute website okay so go through this information carefully dear students and apply for this examination and here the supporting documents everything what you have to 
upload that is given here. So the syllabus for written test skill test is attached in annexure A. So already I have shown you where the syllabus is available. So here you can see annexure A syllabus is there here. So you can click on the syllabus to get the syllabus related document here clearly. So for each and everything, so type of examination selection process, what is the syllabus is clearly mentioned dear students kindly go through these annexures and see the syllabus and what is the type of examination that is going to be conducted everything they have given in detail okay so try to apply as soon as possible okay thank you all the very best